stability, and international trade. But when the system collapsed in the 1970s, South Africa's currency became more volatile, and its economy became more vulnerable to external shocks. In the 1960s, the Bretton Woods system started to break down, as countries traded more with each other. The U.S. dollar became overvalued, leading to an increase in demand for gold. This meant the U.S. was running out of gold to back its currency, and the system started to unravel. In 1971, U.S. President Richard Nixon announced the Nixon shock. I directed Secretary Connolly to suspend temporarily the convertibility of the dollar into gold. Effectively ending the Bretton Woods system and the convertibility of the U.S. dollar into gold. This marked a significant turning point in the global economy, paving the way for a new era of floating exchange rates and free market economics. The legacy of the Bretton Woods Agreement can still be felt in the global financial system. Its collapse paved the way for the rise of the U.S. dollar as the world's dominant currency and opened up a new era, plawed by inflation as a result of printing U.S. dollars at an unprecedented rate. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating financial insights.